Hey, what's up YouTube? How are we doing today? Today I'm making a updated video of how to connect your PS5 controller to your PC for Call of Duty, Warzone, Cold War, and Modern Warfare. I've gotten a lot of positive comments like, thanks Moogie. You are a legend, sir. What is your Twitch? But among them, I also found comments like I can't find the XPUT file. And when I click on the file to go to the controller button setup, it gives me a blue warning with an option in the right to create. So just to avoid all the confusion, I'm remaking this video and we're gonna go step by step. And I'm gonna literally delete the controller file that I have on my computer to show you how to do it fresh. So here we go. All right, first off, make sure your controller is connected to your PC. How are you going to do that is go type into the search box, Bluetooth. And then here you're going to click on add Bluetooth or other device. Click on Bluetooth and make sure that your device is turned on and discoverable. And to turn your PlayStation 5 controller to discoverable, you're going to go ahead and click these two buttons at the same time. And now it's going to be in pairing mode once it's flashing and then it'll pop up right here on add device. Go ahead and click on wireless controller. And now your device is ready to go. Once you got that finished, go ahead and put your controller aside, hit done, X this box out. And you're going to type in X360 CE and hit enter. And then this is the link. It's going to be the x360ce.com controller emulator. You're going to click on that link. And when you get to the download page, it's literally just going to be the two options. Download for 32-bit games and download for 64-bit games. And the best way to check that is going into your search box here. Type in settings. Open it up. Hit system scroll down and hit about under right here we see system type it's going to say either 64-bit operating system or 32-bit so mine's 64-bit make sure you check what yours is and go ahead and download the four 64-bit games i'm going ahead and going to save it to my downloads folder once you have it downloaded go ahead and open up the zip drive and now you're going to go back to your folder go ahead and locate where your modern warfare game is located for me it's on my d drive go ahead and click on modern warfare and you're going to literally drag and drop this file into here so we're going to go ahead and drag this file straight into your modern warfare folder like so and now you can see there's a little controller icon that's labeled x360 ce underscore x64 and now go ahead and double click on the x360 ce underscore x64 and it will pop up with a warning about x input one underscore dot dll was not found that's a file that needs to be created so make sure you hit create and now it will take you to this next page where it says a new device was detected you could hit cancel we're not going to go through this. Go ahead and hit OK. If you get the misconfigured device, check GUIDs. And now you're going to get this blank slate that looks like this. And now to map out your controller, I'm going to go ahead and drop down a link to this file right here. This is going to be all the settings that you're going to want to copy for your controller mapping. And there's a couple ways you could do this. One way is go ahead and copy. For example, the trigger is access four. Hit the drop down menu hit access four and there you go you got that mapped out next one is going to be button five go ahead and click button five and so on and so forth at any point if you're mapping out one of the buttons like button 10 and then you get this error that says misconfigured device check guids go ahead and hit ok and continue mapping this out once you have the last button mapped out, just go ahead and review all the buttons that you mapped. Make sure they're mapped correctly. 
and then go ahead and hit save. Don't forget to hit save because that's going to be a very important part of this process. Great. And a cool way to test that if you did it correctly is if you move your controller around, you will see the emulator picking up exactly what buttons you're pressing. If you see like one of the buttons aren't the ones that you mapped out, you could go ahead and for example, hit that A button and then hit record and then map out the correct button. So that's a cool way that you could just make sure you have everything mapped out correctly. Great. Another thing is I noticed that uh, when the file wasn't in the Modern Warfare folder, I was getting the misconfigured GUID thing. And a quick fix to that is dragging the x360ce file into Modern Warfare and then beginning the process. Also hitting the auto button made it so that the controller was connected and I got that green little box right there, meaning that everything was connected. So great, everything is set, everything is saved. Now we could X out of this, X out of this, and go back into our Modern Warfare folder. And now as you can see, you have the X360CE, you have the X360CE underscore X64 application, and underneath it, you have the X input one underscore three dot DLL. This is so important. I did mention this in the first video I made, and this is the one thing that you're gonna have to do to make sure that it works for Modern Warfare. I don't know why, it's just, it is what it is. So instead of X input one underscore three dot DLL, you're gonna have to rename this. Go ahead and rename this. You're gonna go ahead and keep the X input and highlight one underscore three, and instead you're gonna write nine underscore one underscore zero and hit enter once that's done that's literally the last step now you could open up modern warfare which i'll test out right now and your controller should be connected and now once your modern warfare has opened up go ahead and hit options make sure you go to general and click controller is selected go ahead and hit back and now your controller should be connected okay Great. And there you have it. Now your controller is completely connected with Modern Warfare. I'll go ahead and show a quick test run of what this looks like. Be sure to leave a like in the comments. Be sure to leave a thumbs up and share this with a friend who has a PS5 controller and is having difficulty connecting it to their PC. I appreciate all the support and love that you guys have shown and we'll see you on the next one. Peace. Quarters of prison. Yep, they're 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 coming. Cracked one. I see one. Nice, let's go. <laughs> That was your first dub? Oh, yes. Heck yeah, man. Oh, Let's go. Oh. Hey, GG's, man. GG's. GG's. Oh, I'm so happy. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so there you have it. We just played Rebirth. I was fully on controller. We just got this command's first dub. And be sure to leave a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if this helped out, share with your friend that's looking to connect their PS5 controller to their PC for Warzone. It also works with Cold War and Modern Warfare, I believe. Modern Warfare for sure, I haven't tested it out on Cold War, but let me know in the comments down below if it does work for you on that. Have a great day, and we'll see you on the next one. Peace.